Sugar, da 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 da. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! We're really colorful today because we're in a very good mood. And why is that? You can tell from the title, I got myself a bag from Coach. This is their new one, so it brings me a lot of joy. I would like to unbox it with you. So I'm very excited because Coach was actually the very first luxury bag that I ever purchased in my entire life. True story. My husband and I went to Japan for our honeymoon and this was around January 2020. I knew nothing about bags. But we did pass by this mall and coach was on sale and I was like oh, That bag is beautiful <laughs> and so I can attest from experience that coach is an amazing brand And I'm just so excited about this little bag right here because I know it's gonna get a lot of wear Okay, enough suspense. Let's open this baby up. Shall we? Oh, balik <laughs> One must always keep the paper bags and the boxes. I got this beautiful black box. It also has this brown ribbon, which you know I'm gonna keep. Et voila! We have a lot of tissues, and so the moment of truth is here. Are you ready to see the tabby box bag? Yes! All right! Let me bring it out in three, two, and one. Ooh! So here it is, the new tabby box bag. I've actually been thinking about the pillow bag for quite a while, but when I saw the box bag, I was like, <gasps> according to Google, I'm reading over here. <laughs> this is actually a modern take on Coach's 1970s archive designs. Mm. So let's check out its details. Here at the top, you have its handle, which is kind of flat when not in use. That's very nice. But when you pull it up, ta-da! handheld over here on the side this is the wristlet option which i really really like because you have the option to remove it and put your straps on later if you're kind of in a carefree mood and you just want to use the wristlet like this you totally can do that i'll model it for you later on but yes for the outside you don't have any pockets it's just like a structured rectangle <laughs> over here you have your little tab for your tabby Mm. And of course, you have your coach logo over here. I love how it is covered with leather as well. This is actually the gloved hand leather, which is very soft, but obviously this is a structured bag, so it, I don't think you can appreciate the softness. <laughs> Let's open it up. We actually have a magnetic closure here. And the strap. I love that there is a shoulder strap for more comfortable wearing. I love my shoulder bags, you guys know this. The strap is also adjustable, which is great. It's pretty long actually. I'm really loving this silver hardware with like the off-white color. It's very fresh, it's very young, and I feel like it's so, so versatile. You can use this with any outfit. So as you can see, the box bag kind of has this accordion style opening. That was an accordion sound. But yes, it's basically one giant box with a little bit of stretch, not much. You have a side pocket over here, a very thin one, and an itty bitty pocket over here for cards or coins or something. Other than that, there's basically nothing inside. It's a very straightforward bag. Let's move on to what fit. Despite how small this bag looks, my wallet actually fits, which was like the biggest pro because my wallet usually doesn't fit in other bags. If I put it standing up, it takes up like one third of the entire bag. My phone <laughs> does not exactly fit because you can see over here the wallet does go wall to wall. My phone goes into my pocket. So good for me, I usually have pockets, but I could put it in if maybe I transfer some of my cash and cards into like a smaller wallet. Other essentials, I always have my lippy or my lip gloss. And of course my comb because you know my bangs, my bangs do not cooperate. Once all of that is in, the bag is set. As you can see, it does not get deformed in any way. All right, when born. So for reference, I am 5'5 five, five or 5'6, five, I'm not exactly sure. But this is what it looks like on me when I use the top handle. I can also use the wristlet like this or maybe even use the shoulder strap. So let me just change that up. Of course, I'm doing this standing up. Don't really know why. There you go, cutie! 
If you would see over here, the shoulder strap has a lot more holes so I can definitely adjust it if I want it a bit longer. Or you know how the kids do it nowadays, they kind of get their bags all the way up here to like their waist. I like mine on my hip, this to me is perfect but it's really up to you. Okay, so honestly for me, I think I'm just gonna leave the shoulder straps on because that's really how I like to wear my bag. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the wristlet. This bag is not the lightest bag. I would say it's like kind of in the middle. It's not heavy, it's not light. And so with the wallet inside, I'm not really sure if I want the wristlet to kind of just hold it on one side. I, want, I would rather it be even just to kind of retain this perfection. <laughs> I think the top handle though is genius because you can definitely dress this up. So imagine if you were wearing like a white dress, white heels, you can use a top handle and oh how classy! So for me this was really an amazing purchase. I know certain people have like love-hate relationship with this bag but I feel like we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> I did get this in a very light color. It comes in fun colors like pink though for the summer and I think they're so playful and adorable but you know me I'm always like a neutral girl and I I know that it's gonna get a lot more wear if I get a white. We'll definitely have to protect this and make sure that I wear it with lighter clothes, maybe not with red. But yes, I'm overall super happy with the versatility of this bag, the fact that it is like vintage looking, sporty looking, formal looking, depending on how you style it. It's a pretty new model, so I haven't seen much people wearing it yet. But if you did purchase this bag like I did, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it already, because I would love to discuss. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace and love. Bye!